Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I have a DIY room decor inspired video. I asked on my community tab the other day which video you wanted to see next and the majority of you put down room decor. So I have made three DIYs in today's video all using things that you could maybe find around your house, outside, I don't know, just yeah just i try to make it as easy as possible to find the supplies so i used a cardboard box for one i used a stone for another and then for the third one i ended up using a tin can like i did in my last video so yeah if you just want to see those three diys then just keep on watching so for the first DIY, I'm actually using this kind of laundry powder box. This is actually a laundry powder from Lidl. It's just the one I had kicking around after using it. And I seen it in my recycling. I thought that this would be a fun piece to DIY. So I took a lid to a little jar, drew around it four times in each corner, and then cut out that shape just using this kind of knife tool thingy. Um, yeah that's what i did cut it out once i had that piece removed i then took some silver gift wrap and i just cut that down to size of the actual back of the box and then i just hot glued that into place inside of the box on the back piece taking the piece of cardboard that i cut out from the front i just cut that down in half making two equal pieces i then hot glued that down on the back of the piece of gift wrap again and that way i was then able to cut out around the cardboard shape to create a like um covering on it to make it nice and shiny just easier this way rather than cutting it out and drawing it out it's just easier just to stick it down once I had both pieces covered, I then took some hot glue, hot glue down on the straight edge, and then I just stuck that down into the back of the box. To enforce that a little bit, I just added in some cardboard pieces, hot glued them underneath the little shelves so that they were, you know, just a little bit stronger. And then once they were kind of all secure, I moved on to the front piece. So I took another piece of cardboard. This was just like an Amazon package cardboard. And I basically did the same thing with the lid again, just making a smaller square, just with a like bit on the side and a bit on the bottom. I then cut this shape out just using my scissors to make it nice and neat because I suck at using like craft knives. And then I just hot glued that down to the front, just making that hole a little bit smaller. The reason I made it bigger in the first place was so that I was able to get really far in there with those like shelf bits and it was just easier for me to put them into place. Once that was hot glued down, I then cut out some shapes. So I cut out two circles for the sides to make the dial and then just like an oval shape to go along the bottom. I hot glued them down into place and then just neatened up the whole thing with my craft knife. Once I was happy with the shape, I painted the whole entire thing in a light pink acrylic paint. I did two layers in total, making it nice and opaque, covering up any of the logos. I then coloured in the edges of those shelves with a metallic silver pen. If I was to do this again, I would just wrap the gift wrap around that so I didn't have to do this step, but I didn't think about that at the time and that's what it did. I then coloured in the um, like 3D parts that I stuck on as well and then I added on some details just using white acrylic paint and a little nail art pen. I wrote out Chelsea DIY along the bottom oval and then I wrote like volume and on and off and stuff on those two dials on the left hand side. Once that was done I was going to be you know complete but I then decided it just needed a bit of extra detail so I painted on some white clouds all around the TV just just, just to make it a little bit more interesting. I then decided that the retro TV needed an aerial so I cut that out of cardboard, hot glued it down into place and then using the silver metallic pen I just coloured that in just to make it match a little bit better with the accents on the TV. Once that was done my TV was then complete. I actually have the little um, TV over here behind me, like behind my head. I don't know if you can see it when I did my intro, but there it is. I think it looks absolutely beautiful. It's got all of my squishies that I want to display in it at the moment. I think that would be a really fun piece to be able to swap out and just like, you know, put other bits in and do little displays on. I don't know. I think it's adorable. So moving on to the second DIY for today. This is the one which uses the tin can. I made... Um, over here can you just see that the um tin can which is kind of like really coming with some pens in the other day but it isn't actually big enough to hold all of the pens that i wanted to put in there so i've made another one just using a bigger tin can just in case you missed the other one that i did the other day i have this one for you today 
So like I said, I did a DIY similar to this in my last DIY kind of room decor video, but I wanted to make another one just slightly bigger. So I took this tin can, which is actually like a kilo sized tin can. It did have pineapple in. I just washed it out, gave it a really good rinse and then dried it off, made sure all the paper and everything was off it. I took some offcuts of cardboard. This was actually just the offcuts from the Amazon package that I used for the TV, like the bit I cut out from the middle. So we're using it all. I cut out two ear shapes and then just a little kind of nose, muzzle kind of shape. And I just hot glued those down into place. I then mixed up a light kind of yellow acrylic paint. This is a very, very light yellow. I basically was just doing like Kari Lakuma kind of colour so that it matched the um, like Ri Lakuma inspired one that I did the other day. They're not an exact match, I did a few differences, um, but I thought it'd be nice to have the pair. So once I had two layers of that acrylic paint dried, it was nice and opaque, I then painted on the white details. So I painted the nose in the white and then the inside of the ears. Like I said, these are Brie Lakuma and Curry Lakuma inspired. I think these would otherwise be yellow or pink. Um, but yeah, I kept them white. I then took this darker shade of that brownie, kind of yellowy beigey shade and I just used a nail art tool to create some little stitch lines where the kind of like contour of Kareem Lakuma's nose would be and in and around the ears just to add a little bit of detail I did this on the Rila Kuma one really really liked it the color that I'm using here is actually yellow okra I think it is and that's the color I mixed in with the white to make the base so that's why it looks just like a darker tone of the actual kind of color and I think it works really nicely so I used a black Posca paint pen to draw on the nose and mouth section getting those details right doing the outline first of all and then coloring it in to make it nice and opaque then I just did the same with the eyes drawing around the outline filling them in you don't have to use a Posca paint pen if you don't want to um, you can just use acrylic paint straight on here or permanent marker like a sharpie or something might work really really well but I just I used a Posca paint pen because I had it on my desk so yeah that's what I did for this DIY. For the third and final DIY for today's video I've just used a stone and it's basically a paperweight but you can use it for whatever you want so yeah good for paperweight good for little decor pieces um leaving around in wherever you live does your like place where you live do the rock painting thing like where I live people paint up rocks and then leave them out for other people to find like does anyone else do that or is that just the local thing i think other people do that um but yeah i painted a rock today so it can be used like i said as a paperweight cute little decoration or whatever but i thought it was a cute idea and that's what the last one for today is like I said, for today's video, I just used a stone. I just picked this up out on my travels and I painted it in a white acrylic paint. I'm really liking the trends of rock painting and stuff at the moment. I don't know why. It just seems so fun and so cute. And I just, I wanted to hop onto it. And I thought, what am I going to use a rock for? And I thought, I know, a paperweight or a decor piece. And that's why it's in today's video. So I painted my rock completely in a white. I did two layers of the white in total to make it nice and opaque. Then I just sketched out a rough kind of bread shape, shaded that in with a light brownie kind of shade. This was actually the same color as I used for the Rila Kumo jar. I made this whilst it was drying. Then I used a darker brown to go around the outside to make the crust of the toast or bread, whatever you want to call it. Then painted on a little butter, just yeah, with a few shadows on there, making it look as 3D as I possibly could. And then with the same nail art brush, I painted on a cute kawaii face down at the bottom. Just the same cute little face that I always do. I did end up going back in and adding some shadows to the toast as well. So I did that in a grey to make it look like the shadows was being cast on the white. If you are doing your stone in a different colour, say you're doing it in a pink, you might want to do a darker pink shadow around this instead of the grey. Or if you're doing like a light blue, you might want to do a darker blue for example. I then went it back in and added some highlight to the eyes and then I added the inside of the mouth like the little tongue with a light pink once the black had dried and then I added on some blush either side of the eyes as well just to create the same face that I like to put on absolutely everything because I think it's absolutely adorable. <laughs> 
so that is the end for today's video i hope you have enjoyed it let me know which one of the three diys was your favorite i would love to hear some feedback from you guys like always if you do end up recreating it and be sure to tag my instagram i am loving having you guys over there at the moment haven't reposted any in a while so i'm gonna go and do that now um but yeah hopefully you will have a fantastic day and i will see you very soon for another video bye